Hi, uh, my name's Paul. Um, I'm homeless. I've been homeless for 14 years off and on. Uh, I say off and on because I've been in um, hostels and night shelters and things like that. I've also been uh, in like proper flats and, and had jobs during that time, but I, I can't handle it. I, I, I don't do well um, in normal places. Um, I get very nervous around people. Um, I get very depressed and very insular and then I always end up homeless again. Um, after the last time I thought this is probably it, this is this is just gonna be me homeless forever. And it may be. Um, you know, there's 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 just no way to tell it. But um, I had an idea um, that I thought I'd try. Uh, I was walking because I'm sleeping at the moment on um, an industrial estate next to a canal in Nottingham. And I was walking along the canal one morning and I saw a boat and it had the windows undrawn. It's quite small. Um, I think it's 16 foot, 18 foot, something like that. And um, I looked in and, I, and it, it had a bed, had somewhere to cook. And, um, you know, I, I assume a little closet for a toilet in there as well but I've looked at boats online since and I um, I know that they do come with that uh, with a little shower head and things um, and I thought to myself maybe I could do that um, maybe I could live that way since I can't live normally and I don't want to keep sleeping in the street it, it's it's not safe it's it's not comfortable obviously um, and I'm, you know, I'm 46 years old now. I, I, I can't keep living like this. Uh, I think I read somewhere that the average age for a rough sleeper is 42 years old, but I assume that's because there's a, a lot of drugs and alcohol, which, you know, I, I don't abuse either of those things. I just, I just have mental problems. Um, so I set up um, a GoFundMe. Um, if I can get this on, work out how to get this on YouTube, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but I've got a Twitter account as well that I'm trying to get some followers on uh, and trying to advertise the GoFundMe. Um, now I, I expect a lot of people are saying, "This is your problem. This isn't our problem. Why should we pay for you to 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 have a boat?" And and you're absolutely right. Um, you you shouldn't have to do that. Um, but I can't. I, I don't know how to um, get myself out of the situation that I'm in, so I need help, and I don't have anyone personally to ask for help, especially not that kind of help. So I thought I'd ask a bunch of strangers um, if if they would help me, um, and I'll understand if you absolutely don't if you watch part of this video and switch off that's that's absolutely fine I, I i understand completely everybody's got their own life to live and their own money worries and the, their own problems um but if you do have um a little extra and um you have nothing better to do with it i suppose or 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 or, or, or you have some kind of sympathy for me then then please donate um, and if you can't and you, you still have some sympathy but then, then, then could you share my campaign on, on I, I have a very limited um, Twitter following um, so I'll, I'll never be able to get it out there to enough people um, but it, it, if people could share this the YouTube video or the link to the GoFundMe on, on things like Facebook and, and Twitter obviously um, and I, I know there's a thousand other different social media platforms that I'm, I'm just not that familiar with um, that'd be that'd be wonderful I, I, I really need this um, and like I said I understand that this is my problem and not your problem but I, I don't really know what to say apart from that um, Thank you for listening, if you've got this far in the video at least, um, even if you don't do anything at all. 
uh, but if you if you can help uh, please do it would mean the absolute world to me it really would um, I, I've looked into uh, boat ownership I, I suppose you I tell you and it would be sustainable on 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 very little uh, and a lot of people do it even on quite small boats like like the one I'm I'm looking at, you know, I mean, obviously one of the, the long boats of the barge is that go around the canals that's completely out of any kind of dream price range. But um, one of the small boats, I've seen them go for between four and six thousand. The, the good ones are obviously a lot more, um, but a, a sustainable one, one that I could be, well, at least a lot more comfortable than I am now uh, in. Uh, and you know I could keep it going myself I, I could watch YouTube videos for, for maintenance things um, and I'm sure I can you know e even if I don't have money for food um, the actual petrols cost very little to keep it going uh, moorings are free uh, and when I don't have money for food I can do what I do now which is uh, you know go to soup kitchens and things in various towns um, Anyway, you, you, you've, you've listened for, 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 for long enough. Um, thank you thank you for getting this far. As I say, if you can help, please do in, in whatever way you feel that you can. Uh, and, and if you can't, again, thank you for listening to this far. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you.